it's gonna be what's the secret to get the best physique so the reality is you have to be consistent it's time it's consistency it's how much effort you put into it and the love you put into it and to be honest with you guys the during the beginning of your your first years of training like your first two three four years of training you're gonna notice the biggest changes even if you have a, a crappy diet even if, if you don't sleep that well even if you're not that disciplined you're gonna see big changes okay but as time passes three to four years you're gonna start noticing that your body doesn't change anymore you're slowly progressing into a maintenance training and your body won't change, won't keep progressing. That's when uh, having discipline, that's when having good form, that's when training smart comes in and uh, you have to have a good diet and sleep well and that's when you actually can progress. And it's not about the weight because when, when people tell you, yeah, you have to lift heavier and heavier and heavier, no, it's a lie. Uh, the only thing that you're gonna accomplish uh, lifting heavier and heavier and heavier is to injure yourself. And if you know how to lift heavier, then your thing is not fitness, it's not bodybuilding, your thing is powerlifting, okay? Um, or maybe being a strongman. But the reality is that if you have a few years of training, the, the curve of growth is gonna start going flat, you know? And when that curve starts going flat, you have to start thinking and you start, you have to start being smart about your training. You have to start detecting what are your flaws. For example, maybe you're very good at chest, maybe you're very good with your back, but your shoulders are small or your tries are small or your abs are not that um, shredded or your legs are a, a very weak point and that's when you have to start training uh, for the weak spots and when you actually make your weak spots become your tough spots then then you're gonna make a huge progress another thing that you have to know is that progress does not come quickly it's not gonna be something that's gonna happen in two months or four months or six months. Changing your body, it's gonna take a long time. And even if you have many years of bodybuilding, it's gonna take even longer because the changes are gonna be small. And to make a small change, you have to make a lot of effort. You have to make a lot of difference for it. And it takes time. You have to have patience. Patience and consistency. Be good at this. And to be good at this, you have to practice. And to practice, you need time. You, do, you need to do it over and over and over again. And understand how your body works. And as time goes by, you're going to keep polishing and polishing and polishing all the flaws that you see in your body. And new ones are going to appear and you're going to start uh, doing those and it's going to keep going and going and going and you'll become smarter about it. The lesson here is not just for bodybuilding, okay? I, I want to let you know that you can apply this for everything in life. If you want to achieve something, you have to be consistent. You, you don't have to give up. Don't. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep moving forward. It doesn't matter what they tell you. It doesn't matter if they say, you're not gonna make it, you're not gonna do it, you can't, it's impossible. Screw them. It's you against everyone else. It's your job to do it. And if you believe that you can do it, you will do it. But you have to be consistent. You have to have discipline. You have to do it every day. You have to do the hard work because no one else is going to do that hard work for you. People can talk all they want, but it's up to you to make it happen. Okay, that's all I have for today. Sorry, it's a short video. 
I want to thank you everyone for your support and if you have any comments or questions please leave it in the comment section below. If you like the video, punch that like button, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!